Well, hey folks, welcome back to Crimson Skies here on Something Awful. I'm gonna jump right back into this. Go to the campaign here, load up the Let's Play. Alright, so last we checked, we had the Devastator. We looked at a uh, very interesting plane from World War II, and it's time to keep on going. Still can't do any proper plane construction, don't have enough money yet, so we're just gonna jump right into the next one here. Me and Betty's little scuffle with the Medusas have made us a popular dance partner. The spotters just sighted a group of British Balmoral bombers and their fighter escort headed our way. British? What are they doing in Hawaii? We'll deal with that later. Right now it looks like they want the treasure for themselves. So what now, boss? Two things. Stop those bombers from blowing our treasure to Kingdom Come and find out where they came from. Oh sure, we can just ask them. Excuse me, old chap. Mind telling me the location of your secret military base? <laughs> <laughs> first things first, Jack. When we launch, we'll hit their fighter escort. After we shoot down the fighters, destroy all the bombers but one. After we isolate that last bomber, I'm going to force them to let me board. What? Jack, you'll fly shotgun with me. I'll fly over the last bomber and match its speed. Once I've got us in position, Jack will take over my plane so I can climb out and jump down onto the bomber's wing and climb into the cockpit. Once I have control of the Balmoral and the rest of the fighter escorts have been cleared out, We'll head back and dock with the Pandora. I know the Balmoral's a swanky machines, Captain, but nice enough to risk your neck for? What gives? Now, I'm hoping there's a map, code book, or a talkative pilot on that bomber so we can find out where all these Brits are coming from. I don't want any more surprise visitors spoiling our plans to rescue that gold from the sea. Now everyone get ready. We launch in five. If you haven't figured out that Crimson Skies is kind of a swashbuckling, madcap adventure sort of game, this level pretty much uh, makes that clear to you. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Dum Dums, Armor Piercing, and Slugs looks pretty good to me. I, uh, well, shucks. I never really give explosive a shot. We'll give this a try this time. We'll give that, uh, okay, hi, hi, uh... Armor piercing uh, rockets are pretty useful on this level. The uh, Balmoral bombers are very heavily armored uh, and don't move particularly quick, but because this whole level is about not destroying the bombers, uh, we're gonna not maybe do that. So let's just go ahead and, uh, and go with what we've got and let's see what happens. There's our trusty dog in the corner. We need to think of a name for that dog. I like Panzer. Seems like a good dog name. Maybe, maybe the director. The director, the dog. That's enough dog talk. Looks like two different rockets underneath my uh, wings here. Pretty sure I only picked one type of rocket. Oh, too late to worry about that. Oh, I nearly Here they come. Oh. Escort fighters breaking to attack. Remember, people, we need to take out the fighter Goodness. escort before attempting to steal one of those bombers. They'll be a lot more agreeable without any protection. Oh, that was not good. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's what you get for flying in front of me. Okay, no. Where are our enemies? Oh. She's not kidding. She's really, uh, really got her stuff figured out here. She knows exactly where this stuff is. All right, man. Destroy those Coast other bombers. Clear, boss. We want to get one alone. Hmm. So you'll see that we've got three bombers here. This is Sir Charles Dimmick Winthrop of the Royal Air Force. Disengage your attack immediately. Say, Winthrop, isn't it almost tea time? Do you want me to give you one lump or two? Really? How pathetic. I shall enjoy putting you in your place, Pirate. Careful! You're I'll drink to that! Try to 
That doesn't give us much time, boys. We need to isolate one of those bombers and hijack it before the treasure site is destroyed. Where is that fella? Woo! Uh-oh. Okay, I just rammed that bomber. You generally don't want to do that. Ah! Is this who I think it is? All right. This is a named enemy, Sir Charles Emmett Winthrop. He's basically a mini-boss. He's going to be much tougher than other planes. Look at that. That normally would have taken down an enemy. He's going to be uh, quite a bit more maneuverable. He's going to be uh, faster, smarter, better AI. Uh, but still nothing we can't deal with. Hopefully that's the last of them. Alright, man. Destroy those other bombers. We want to get one alone. Sorry, mate. I've got to jump. Over. Jack here. Only one Balmoral left, Captain. Let's grab it and get home. Bomb bay doors open. Bombs away. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't do that. Oh boy. So here's. <laughs> here's his big plan for hijacking an airplane. Jack is, uh, is flying my. Devastator, by the way. I've got control. Cover me and let's get back Oh, to the that was door. a little silly. So here we are, brand new El Moral. If you take a look over at the rockets, good god, though, we've got a lot of rockets. Look at all those rockets. So many rockets. Home, boss. You're cleared to land. Beta auto dock. I should probably auto dock when I'm flying this goddamn brick. But I think I got it. Okay, well, folks, I know that was a short one, but uh, trust me, they get longer going out from here. So you'll see we got uh, we took out three peacemakers over here, two Balmoral bombers, and here's another peacemaker, but it's got a big star right there. It's a different color. That is Sir Charles Emmett Winthrop right there. The named enemies get a, uh, a special stamp there on the deal, and you get something special for that. I'm not sure what. Points, maybe. No money, obviously. Uh, so let's see. Zachary Nabs, a British Balmoral. So this is effectively just a, uh, a quick recap of what we did in this level. Back off here. Um, let's see. King of Hawaii awards Medal of Valor to Hero Pirate. Remember, there is a King of Hawaii now. Uh, Hawaii didn't so much break away from the United States in this world as it was never part of the United States to begin with. Uh, seeing as how everything broke up in the 30s. Okie doke, that looks like some blueprints. Hmm. Yep, that looks about right. Let me see the... No, oh, I can't see the blue... Oh, I wanted to see that part. Alright, and this is the, the Order of Coup. Medal of Conspicuous Valor. Well, it doesn't get much more conspicuous than bailing out of your own airplane. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, export to desktop? I don't really want that as my desktop. So, um, what else have we got here? Ah, and this is Sir Charles Emmett Winthrop. This guy. Very British looking guy. Uh, so, uh, great. Hooray. Looks like there's a couple other things here. This uh, kind of implies that maybe there are two stunts that we can do on this level, but I don't know about them. So, not going to worry about that. Returning to the cabin. Uh, Alright, so there's the Belmoral Bomber hanging out back there. There's our trusty dog hanging out right here. Uh, I know there wasn't much to that level, but, uh, but we'll see plenty more plenty quick and unfortunately we still don't have quite enough money to do any plane construction so that'll have to wait so let's take a look at this British Balmoral bomber learn something a uh, little something about it and then uh, take a look at the plane of the day 
All right, folks, we got a new plane, the Bristol Type 140 Belmoral Bomber. It has a folding wing design that allows it to be deployed from Zeppelins, and its heavy armor lets it take a pretty heavy pounding. The Belmoral boasts a traditional twin-engine configuration with a large wing area. Large control surfaces do little for handling and responsiveness. Piloting the Belmoral is about like flying a movie theater. Twin gun turrets are installed on the chin and spine, providing decent point defense. It mounts four heavy cannons and can carry 24 rockets with a full payload. It's plane of the daytime, folks. Today's plane is a particularly nasty piece of hardware, the A-10 Thunderbolt Mark II. The Thunderbolt is more commonly known by its nickname Warthog and is a single-seat twin-engine jet aircraft designed to provide close air support of ground forces by attacking tanks, armored vehicles, and other targets with limited anti-air capability. The A-10 is an extremely tough plane. It can survive direct hits from both armor-piercing and high-explosive projectiles. It has triple redundancy systems and can fly and land with no hydraulic power, one engine, one tail fin, and half a wing torn off. It first saw combat during the Gulf War in 1991 and was responsible for the destruction of more than 900 tanks, 2,000 military vehicles, 1,200 artillery pieces, and two helicopters. It remains the finest ground attack plane in the fleet and is expected to remain in service till 2028 and possibly later. The A-10 will be a tough act to follow.